In this video, I'm going to show you guys more examples on solving inequalities. First one, we have ax minus 2 times the parentheses with 3x minus 5 inside, and this is greater than or equal to 4x plus 9. As we can see, we only have one inequality symbol, so this is just a regular situation. Alright, to start off with this, we are going to take care of the parentheses first. Distribute the negative 2 into the parentheses. The 8x will stay the same for now. Negative 2 times 3x, that's negative 6x. Negative 2 times negative 5, that will give us positive 10. And then this part right here, we don't need to do anything, so it stays the same greater than or equal to 4x plus 9, like this, right? And then, on the left-hand side, it seems that we can combine like terms, because we have the 8x minus 6x. Of course, after we combine them, we get positive 2x. And then that's still plus 10, and this is still greater than or equal to 4x plus 9. Now what? move the x from the right hand side to the left hand side and the number from the left hand side to the right hand side. With that being said, I want to do what with the 4x? This is a positive 4x. That's minus 4x so that this and that will cancel. Do the same thing right here. Minus 4x. What should we do with the 10? That's minus 10 here and that's minus 10 here so that this and that will cancel. Okay. And now, 2x minus 4x is negative 2x. Maintain, right? Greater than or equal to, because we didn't multiply, we didn't divide any negative number. It was just subtracting. So we maintain the symbol, and here is 9 minus 10, that's negative 1. At the end, this is negative 2 times x. So we have to divide by negative 2 and this and that will cancel we do the same thing on the right hand side we get the x by itself that's very nice well negative 1 over negative 2 is what? positive 1 half that's a negative 2 so we have to take this and switch it we will have less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 1 half so this is the inequality way to answer the question, and I'll show you guys the graph right here, which is, let's just say, this is 1 half, it's positive, and this is less than or equal to, so close circle, and we are going to go toward the left, because it's x less than. So we go toward the left, like this. How about for interval notation? Well, this is going all the way to the left, so that will be negative infinity, stops right here positive 1 half, for negative infinity, use parentheses, for 1 half, because that's a closed circle, use a square bracket. For the next one, we have 2x minus 1 over 5, it's in between of positive 3 and positive 7, including the positive 3, but not including the positive 7. So what should we do? Well, we have an over 5 here, therefore we are going to multiply by 5, so that this and that will cancel. And we do the same thing to all three sides. We have two inequality symbols, right? This is the compound inequality, the end situation, or the in-between situation. So multiply this by 5 as well. Multiply it by 5 right here. Also, 3 times 5 is 15, and we maintain less than or equal to, and this is still 2x minus 1, and then we maintain this also. 7 times 5 is 35. What's next? We have to get rid of the negative 1, right? So let's add 1 here, so that they cancel. Add 1, and we add 1. And we will see, we have 16. And then maintain this symbol, and this is 2x. And maintain this also, this is 36. What's next? This is 2 times x, therefore, we are going to divide it by 2. Divide it by 2 in the middle, so that they cancel. Divide this by 2 also, divide this by 2 as well. At the end, we can work this out. This is positive 8, and maintain this, because that was just a positive 2, right? And this is x, and then maintain this. This is going to be 18, 36 over 2, just like that. At the end, x is in between of 8 and 18. 
including the 8, but not including the 18. And now let me show you guys the graph. Let me do it right here. Let me say this is 8 and 18 is right here. For the 8, we include, so close circle. For the 18, open circle because not including. X is in between, so literally in between. Done. Interval notation starting at 8 ends at 18. Right here, bracket because we include. And right here, open parentheses, we are done. Another example, and this time we have an OR situation. So we are going to work this out first, and then work that out separately. At the end, put the answers together, right? Right here, we have 2 minus 5x is less than negative 18. With that being said, that's minus 2 here, minus 2 here, cancel, cancel. And we will have negative 5x maintained, right? This is negative 20 because that was subtracting the 2. Negative 18 minus 2 is negative 20. What's next? This is negative 5 times x. So let's divide both sides by negative 5. Divide both sides by negative 5. This and that will cancel, and we work this out. x will be by itself. Negative 20 over negative 5 is positive 4. Less than becomes greater than because we divide it by negative 5. Done. This one, we have 3 half x minus 17 is less than negative 29. Let's add the 17 on both sides first, right? So plus 17, totally cancel, and that's plus 17 here also. And we have 3 half x. This is still less than because we only add. And what's this? Negative 29 plus 17. We will get negative 12. Right? And now, what do we do next? This is 3 half times x. A fraction times x. The best way to get rid of this fraction is to multiply by its reciprocal. So let's multiply this by 2 over 3. And seriously, you know if you are doing this right or wrong. Because now, we see that 2 and 2 will cancel, 3 and 3 will cancel, the x will be by itself. So you know that it's the correct procedure. Do the same thing on the right hand side, so multiply this by 2 over 3. You see, we have the x by itself. This fraction was positive, so we maintain the less than. And what's negative 12 times 2 over 3? You can use your calculator if you would like, or you can just look at this as 12 over 1. And you can do it this way. Negative 12 times 2 is negative 24, and divided by 1 times 3, which is 3. Negative 24 divided by 3 is negative 8. Another way, reduce. 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 12 four times. 1, 1 on the bottom, so just 1. <laughs> but then negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8. Right? Over 1, which is still just negative 8. We are done. This or that. Inequality, right? And then for the graph, let's see. We need to mark two numbers. Negative 8, be sure you have that on the left. And then 4, it should be toward the right. Not including, so I am going to open a circle here. And this is x is less than negative 8. So I am just going to go toward the left also right here x is greater than 4, so open circle and go all the way to the right, like this. Done with the graph. Interval notation at the end. For this one, negative infinity up to negative 8. Open parentheses, also open parentheses. Union, for this one, we have 4, comma, it goes all the way to past infinity open parentheses, and for infinity, we use parentheses as well. We are all done. Okay. That's it.